Hello and welcome to the Quick Start Ad Clients video tutorial for EasyLaw. This video covers the required elements to open a new client. Click Add Clients to proceed. The Clients feature is used to add clients and to edit and delete existing clients. Use Enter, Tab, or the mouse to navigate through the fields. Click Add Client slash Matter if automatic numbering is enabled or enter the client number. If you use matters, enter the client and matter in the field together. Clients can be up to nine characters long and matters must be up to three characters long. I strongly recommend that clients and matters be numeric as this lets the user remain on the numeric keypad when in doing extensive data entry. This can greatly improve efficiency. Some firms using matters like to put a dash in front of the matter number for display purposes on reports, and this will work whether the dash is part of the nine character client or the three character matter. Just be consistent in the format that you use. If you do not use matters, enter a client up to 12 characters long. One more suggestion is that you make your client numbers the same number of digits in length. This also helps with efficiency and data entry. Enter the client name with the last name followed by the first name. This is important as this field is used to search clients alphabetically. If you are entering a company name, drop text such as the or a to improve search options. If Create Conflict Database in System Settings is enabled, the client name will be checked for a potential conflict and a window will display. If there is no conflict, press Enter to continue. This field will automatically capitalize the text entered. Enter the client's mail to name as you want it to appear on billing and reminder statements. Press enter to duplicate the client name field. Enter the client's address and zip or postal code. Press F6 to automatically enter the common city and use address fields as necessary. For firms using Amicus Attorney, business slash organization is if the file is a business, otherwise select individual. This is only required if you wish to export clients to Amicus Attorney. Enter the matter description. Don't enter re in front of the matter description. Instead, use a specific word or name to begin the description as this field can be searched alphabetically. Because the matter description displays on reports and on bills, make sure that you do not include confidential information. In the Canadian version of Easy Law, select Exempt from Verification if the client is exempt from identification and verification. Otherwise, select Yes or No or Pending to indicate the status of the file and select the initials of the lawyer performing the identification and verification. If the identification verification is complete, Enter the date on which it was completed and fill in the occupation if the client is an individual or business ID if the client is a business and ID type fields as required. Click the General Settings tab to enter additional information on the client. Enter the area of law, click the down arrow or press F5 to display a list of areas of law. 
enter the major client or client type or click the down arrow or press F5 to display a list of major clients. Remember, this field is optional. Enter the date the file was opened or press Enter to use the current date. The statement codes is used when printing accounts receivable reminders. Code A means a reminder will be generated with interest. Code B means a reminder will be generated without interest even if your firm charges interest and code C means a reminder will not be generated. This field is optional. Click the Doubtful Account checkbox to flag the file as doubtful on the Accounts Receivable Aging Report. This field is optional and is typically used only at year end. In the Canadian version of EasyLaw, choose whether you want to be prompted to charge the trust administration fee when entering trust receipts for the client. This applies only to firms operating in British Columbia, Canada. Enter the estimated value of the file. This information is useful if the lawyer has quoted a fixed amount to charge. This field is optional and this information does not display anywhere else in the program. Enter the lawyer and timekeeper information for the client. You must select a responsible lawyer but assigned lawyer, secretary, and originating lawyer are optional. Complete the tax information on the file. In the Tax 1 and Tax 2 fields, enter yes if the client is subject to the tax, otherwise enter no. Enter the client's ID or SIN number. This field is optional. Click Save to finish adding a new client.